I'm awfully sorry it's a live show. Well, I do mi- apologise. Put my microphone off now. Look here. Oh, oh shame. It was good. That no, was good. Now, I'm the, sorry. The feature on your Saturday show is called what? Yes. Yeah. And it's where um, it's. Oh, you brought a camera as well. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, you just keep talking. <laughs> It's not a water one, is it? No, no. No, He's got this feature on his Saturday morning show on 1AFM where two pubs play a competition based on general knowledge and uh, it's a darts game as well, so they have to get double top and treble top. and all Yes, that sort yes, of yes. It's a good game. Yeah, it's a good game. Highly popular, which is very, why, very popular why we, game. why we wanted to play it. That's yeah. the point. And that <laughs> I'm sorry about this. Uh, I felt I had to take a few photographs. I want to have something to remember you by. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear me. Well, uh, we were told by one or two people that uh, there are three things Dave doesn't like happening on this uh, particular part of his show. Uh, one is people asking for dedication at the wrong point, and, yes. uh, and two, anyone listening to the radio in their pub so you get a howl round, uh, and three, anybody other than the spokesperson giving the answer. Yeah. Right. That sums so, it up. So we've got a couple of pubs um, who knew the questions and therefore knew to get the answers completely wrong. This feature normally runs about, uh, what, nine, ten minutes. I hate this guy. And, <laughs> I mean, and it actually, a few Saturdays ago, ran something like 35 minutes. <laughs> and the pubs, ladies and gentlemen, on DLT show are meant to be 200 miles apart. Oh, but if you look very closely, you will see that they are, in fact, barely two feet apart. Because <laughs> we were just down the corridor from the studio and we were in the head of Radio 1's office. Not a pub in sight. OK, it is the pub team challenge, and we have a couple of teams on standby now. Uh, they are the Dun Cow, which is Plough Lane in York, and the Goose and Feathers, Mill Road, Bexley. So let's go to the Dun Cow, first of all, and Jeff Kirk. Hello, Jeff. Oh, Dave. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, have we disturbed you? No, no, we, we, we were just waiting for you there, Dave. Oh, you're waiting for me? Well, your team sounds a bit sort of... Well, it's be- Right, hold on there, Jeff. We're going over to the Goose and Feathers. Uh, hello, Bernard James. Hi. Yay! Here we are. Now, you see, that sounds more like right, it. How are you? Bernard. Yes, sir. <laughs> Your lot are all right then. Yes, yeah, they're fine. Yeah. They're fine. All right. We've got onto your program too, which we're all a bit delighted about. Yeah. Stop it! People will think I'm paying you to say the right things here. <laughs> it's nice to have you with us. Well, so good luck to both teams. Remember, all I need to hear is the right answer from the spokesperson. So here we go. What uh, what can I tempt you with? Uh, yeah, yeah, double, double top. top. Yeah. All right, forty yeah. for the yeah. 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 In which TV series would you meet Sergeant Bob Cryer? Uh, uh, Bergerac. 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 You're saying Bergerac? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Perfect answer is the bill. Uh, never mind. Never mind. Jeff Kirk at the Dun Cow. Yes, yes. Has that made you happy? Very happy. Now, are we happy? Yeah. Oh, I'm sending a hearse round to that pub after this show. <laughs> There's something wrong with you lot. Well, we're, 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 not, we're not one of these trendy young pubs, Dave. Oh, 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 it's your question. Oh, for Double Top is which part of the body is affected by astigmatism? Oh, 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 oh. We think it's... the joints. <laughs> it's going to be one of those games, isn't it? <laughs> and astigmatism is the eye. But at least... We now know that we do not have professional teams here. <laughs> ...who are out to enjoy themselves, which is what it's all about. So, question then for 40 points this time is who invented the gramophone in 1878? Eddie <laughs> well, I think we've... I think we have a record here. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've had three double tops that have not been answered in a row, I think. Oh, well, at least we're doing something. Yeah, we're really doing something here. <laughs> Let's go back to the Dun Cow now. Uh, double top, please, Dave. Oh, dear. I'm whistling a lot at the moment. Somebody's turned a radio up, if you could. Uh, well, yes, if you could sort that out, we'd be very, very pleased. What is the male 
Honeybee Corp. Cool. No, 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 Bumble. Bumble. Six what? No, 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 we've got, we've got no questions here, can't you? They're not easy enough. <laughs> so, children. <laughs> it's a drone. A drone? Yes. <laughs> well, this is definitely a first. Come on, on what form of transport would you find something called a dead man's handle? I think I might take a musical break here to rethink my entire career. <laughs> now you're not thinking. This game is all over the place, but I don't care anymore. Uh, we are now with the Goose and Feathers again yeah. in Bexley. Yeah. Whose last film, and we're talking about the actor, whose last film was Guess Who's Coming to Dinner in 1967? It's Spencer Tracy. Say, 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 There's going to be a big ears. earwig dink. Take that, stitch this. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, we'll move back quickly to the dumb cow. Yes, you. This is weird. This is weird. It's, yes, shuttlecock is the right answer. Okay, we are back again. With we'll finish this game if it kills us. Bernard James at the goose and feather. Give me a no, 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 no. Hey, they're at it again. <laughs> Wait a minute, have you replaced Bernard then? Yeah, we voted him out. You voted him out? <laughs> this is another first here. You haven't, you haven't injured him, have you? No, he's here. Now, Malcolm, if you don't get this right, Bernard's going to chin you. You know that, don't you? All right, all right, all right. All right. 54 points. Say hello, say hello to Sharon. Say hello to Sharon, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> For 54 points. I will say this only once. What does the French word pom mean? Is that for me? Apple for you. Right answer. Okay, back again now to Jeff. I'm intrigued, Dave. I didn't know it was like that down. I've heard some stories about down south, but yes, I know. it's all right. But don't, please. Let's just finish this game. I can't wait for this game to be over with. Can you just? Have to request later. Uh, you can, yes, we can do anything you want later. But right now, I just like to finish the game. <laughs> okay. Your question is: Which Roman god is the month of March named after? Oh. 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 Mercury Day. Mercury. <laughs> Think about Mars. Oh. Yes, oh. Okay, we're back now with the the bullseye question. This is for the game. Okay. And to retain my sanity, what was the name, the stage name, of the film star who was born Francis Gum? Lois Manila. Lois Manila. Her mum, Judy Garland. Her mum, Judy Garland. I, uh, yes, it was her mum, Judy Garland. I am taking a break here. We're just going to have a bit of music. We'll be back with the game in a little while, and we might finish it by 12 o'clock. <laughs> See how it goes anyway. No way do I want them near this show again. No way. I mean, it's quite funny. 
house. If you're ready, what can I do for you now, Jeff? Trouble 18, Dad. What is the name of the Roman god of love? Cupid. Apollo. 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 <laughs> Say Cupid, but obviously not to me, so never mind. We'll go back again to uh, the Goose and Feathers. Yeah. Right, are we ready to do it now? Yeah, go on. Okay. What nationality is the pop singer Sabrina? Hang on a sec. Oh, go, go. Ten seconds. Spanish, Spanish. Uh, uh, Spanish. 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 I do not. If this is for real, if this is for real, this man dies. Of the I'm on the phone! You! I'm on the phone, Dave! You have a gotcha! Gotcha Oscar! And hello to everyone in York! Everyone in this is You! Hi Dave! You are a dead man! You know, I, I am not a man to hold a grudge. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, no problem. <laughs> DLT's got your Oscar. Thank you.